Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog style video. Today I am going to be going through my Glitter Bells collection behind me. I am going to show you how I store it, how I keep things organized, how I order, and how I know what I have. This is kind of, I think, a big thing for all of us. You never know what you have. Of course, when you're ordering, you tend to order the colors that you're attracted to, which means sometimes you end up with duplicates. Not a bad thing, because you're going through those colors and you are going to use them. For example, I have like, um, like triplets of this color. I use it all the time. It doesn't matter, but I definitely don't need any more right now. So I came up with my own system of how to be able to figure out what to order or what I need, or better yet, what I already have. So let's start with how I start making a nail throne order. So as you guys know, if you're a frequent flyer here on my channel, I order my Glitter Bells product through the Nail Throne. Now, there is a discount code down below for the Nail Throne. They have the coolest product. Love, love, love it. Every month I get an order. So the first two things that I look at when I know I'm going to be placing a Nail Throne order are my sanitizers. I have a sanitizer disinfectant spray. It is a liquid in a spray bottle. I love this stuff for various things. I kind of use this everywhere and anywhere and nowhere at the same time. I go through it fairly quickly. I'm going to say probably I order this every third time because I order this every second time and I use a lot of this. So for reference, if you were kind of wondering how long something like this might last, this is the C19 Pro, it's a multi-surface sanitizer. So essentially it is the, in my mind, equivalent, it's the pretty equivalent, it's the pretty cousin of the uh, Lysol spray sanitizer. So it kills enveloped viruses, 99% of bacteria, so antiviral, antibacterial. It's alcohol free. It is not obnoxious as far as smell goes. I use this after every single client. I spray down my doorknobs. I spray down my dust collector and a couple of other hard surfaces. So I feel like there's about half of this left and I order this every other time, every other order. So every other month and I do a full clientele full time. If you were wondering maybe like cost versus how long it lasts, you can rest assured, like I say, I'm getting this every other month and I generally am just running out when my order comes. So if that was a question you had, there's your answer. So both of those things have to go on this month's order. I also need a new acrylic brush that goes on the order every, I probably could get one every three or four months. I likely end up getting one every six months. Sometimes it takes a minute for me to remember to order. That's kind of what I'm trying to get better at. When it comes to the gel polishes, that is where it takes planning. I have quite a few of the loose glitters and I do use them. However, I do not reorder a ton of them because I don't go through a lot of them and I have so many other glitters. So although I tend to use these obviously because they're out and they're out because they're gorgeous, check the packaging. I mean, there's not much that's prettier than that. Dusty. So there's not much that's prettier than that. Really love their packaging. Again, they stay out. The one thing that I am ordering quite a bit of recently is the Unbelievable Gels because I love them so stinking much. That's kind of what I need to do today. I need to start the same organizational process for the Unbelievable Gels as I do for the gel polishes. Another thing that I order every time is going to be my top coats. The No Wipe top coat is amazing. I love it so very much. I also order the rubber top gel not as often. I do need to order my Prep and Prime as well. The brush on builder gel is something else that even though I don't use it on clients, 
per se. I use a fair amount of the brush on, the brush on gel, and I use it in cotton candy. I love the cotton candy color. It's a really great base for a nail color. I also use the Luminary, I'm looking over here, this is where everything is. I also use the Luminary matte top coat called Empower. I really like that cured for 10 seconds before I use the Magpie pigment for an ombre type nail. So if you have been struggling with that maybe and want something else to try, that is what I found worked for me personally. I know sometimes it's really hard to find ways to make that stuff work. Let's get on to the gel polish list. I keep the list in my phone because sometimes I'm ordering from home and I'm obviously not looking at the wall. It's just listed under Glitter Bells Gel Polish. So I'm going to put a screen capture up here of my list to show you how I keep things organized. You can see on the screen capture that they are alphabetically organized. However, they are not alphabetical within the list. I didn't think I needed to go that far. And so far I've been right. Now, the last order that I made, I'm pretty sure I didn't put the gel polishes on the list, so I need to go back into my last time order, make sure the gel polishes are on the list, and then I need to do the same type of list for the unbelievable gels. Because for the first little bit, I totally knew which ones I had, and when I went to order, it was no big deal because I was ordering in kits, like I was getting the um, collection. It didn't matter. Now it matters because now I'll be buying singles. So what I'm going to do at the very bottom of this list is do a unbelievable gel list. I'm going to keep it separate because I feel like that's going to be easiest. Next, let's talk about how I store them. So in keeping with how I store my gel polishes for use, I keep them right behind my working desk. I start with my unbelievable gels down here. These are the easiest for me to grab, and lately they're the ones I've been using the most. I keep them down here. I also am using the dots, as you can see, on everything. Those dots have been such a lifesaver, I can't even explain to you. Those are in my Amazon store down below linked into like the link tree. The Unbelievables are here. I hope to expand this collection. With expanding it is going to mean taking the glitters probably off of here, but we're gonna cross that bridge when we get there because I don't really know where I want the glitters to go. Moving on, we can get up into my gel polishes, which I'll go right here. I can kind of flip them down, which is nice when I'm looking for a color, especially if I think I might know where it is so I don't have to get up and look. Anything above here, I pretty much have to get up, but that's okay too. I use the dots on these, life-changing again. I have been keeping the colors that aren't in season, so to speak. I mean, every color is in season all the time. I have been keeping those colors up here. Reason being is I keep the seasonal colors down here. I have my magpie pigments. I have a couple of art inks because I thought it might make me use them. It didn't. But I also have, you know, aside from my appointment cards, because I feel like that's the easiest place to grab them from. These are the colors right now that are popular. I have burgundies. I have a couple of orange or orange red, some reds the grays. I have a couple of kind of winter sweater season neutrals up there. And over here, I have the blues, light and dark because I'm still doing a lot of both. I have some of the darker purples and the kind of burgundy purples. And I also have a couple of grays over there. The emerald colors, like the really pretty ones that are really starting to get that focus, really starting to get popular. Those are on display client care can see them when they're sitting in the client chair. I think it makes a pretty good view over there. I really like how it looks. Again, I have the dots on them, which I cannot say enough good about. The stands are also from Amazon and I have them listed. The stand that they're sitting on, of course, is Ikea. And that is where I keep let me flip this up. That is where I keep my acrylics. So that is for another video because honestly, there is no storage going on there. Throw them in when I need one. I dig through every single one of them until I find the one I want. So that's the way that is. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all, pop them down below or get a hold of me on Instagram. Everything is from the same handle. Thanks for watching. I hope you subscribe and I hope you stick around.